Hello everyone. Today's video is more of a science project than anything else. I have been reloading for a little bit shy of three years with the total of about 21,000 rounds. I shot maybe 19,000 of those as a few thousands are laying down around the house. And lately I've been coming across some crack shells. And that other one I found. I'm wondering how many I went through and shot. And I'm probably not the only one. So today's science project is to go to the range and shoot them using my tank. This is a Canic P120, all still heavy handgun, extremely well made, very thick. And so if there is a gun that can take it, it would be this one. Now some people might say I'm crazy. But you know what? If you don't try anything in life, there won't be anything done. And look at the right brother. People call them crazy and they flew now. My research is not as important and crazy as the right brother, but I want to find out the outcome of those crack ammo. My take is a shell is not only to hold the pressure of the ammo, but mainly to hold the bullet, the powder, and the primer into one package. The gun or the barrel chamber is going to be what hold most of the pressure and again many reloaders do not inspect their round and have to go through many rounds that are cracked but not only i'm going to see if the gun handle it and really should handle it no problem i'm going to use some control ammo to measure the speed of those crack bullet. Those are the same, loaded with 120 gram of round nose extreme bullets with 4.2 gram of sport pistol powder. Now those I think are Cellular and Billiard primer, those are Winchester primer. So this control pair will tell me what is the average speed of this load and we'll find out what is the average speed of those two cracked bullets. So now we're gonna to go to the range, chrono everything, test everything, and have some fun. See you then. Okay, now we're gonna get an average from regular ammunition. Average is 1082. Now we're gonna try one crack shell. Ten five seven and it's safe. Another one. Ten eighty. I felt a little bit more burn on my hand, a bit more powder. So ten eighty. So it looks like uh, we're not losing anything. Pressure is constant. Let's see what would be the average. Ten sixty-eight. That means compared to averages, I'm losing thirteen feet per second. So I will say it's a wash. A crack shell can be considered as any good shooting bullet. Of course, not to be reused, not to be repeated, but in case you have it and you don't know about it, it's like any other one. I am now back to my den, and here are the cases. You can see here that the burn powder came out right there. I don't see any special deformation of the case but as you could see 
they are shootable with no heal effect except you lose a little bit of pressure and that wasn't much only 13 feet per second compared to the test round which is insignificant so if you happen to reload if you happen to have some crack cases that you happen to not see them and go through the cycle of being loaded into your handgun and shot you will still be competitive you won't have to worry about them exploding in your gun so you can now reload safely and not worrying about those guys well as always until next time see you guys <laughs>